the biggest thing, both physically and monetarily, is the VSP 9000. Oh uh, yeah, that one might be a better one. Um, this product is um, this product's about a 250 million, 300 million dollar investment when it comes to market uh, around the end of this year, and it is basically a 10 gig aggregator box. Sure. So its job, 244 10 gig ports can go into this thing at wire speed. It's got a 27 terabit backplane, crossbar backplane. It's a full high availability, no single point of failure architecture. It even can be clustered, four of these together into a hundred terabyte grouping. Uh, and all the fan out and all the capability to be able to aggregate them yeah. any a corporation of any size. Um, some things that have been done from the physical and efficiency size, we can actually, because of the size of these things, you can rack three of them together. Yeah. Nobody, others, nobody else's data center uh, core solution gets anywhere close to that size. So, you know, really thoughtful engineering, um, you know, focus on resiliency, focus on efficiency, and all the things we've talked about. Other big thing is the sub virtualizing platform. So that means that it has it has a processor or architecture embedded within it that runs Linux and VMware so that we can now, not only for our own capabilities, and I'll show you some of the capabilities we might be running in this, sure. but also third parties can deliver functionality to the our, our customer base, customers who use us as infrastructure, can actually run on our virtualization environment. They don't necessarily have to sell the customer an appliance and the support and maintenance of a piece of hardware from a small company. Yeah. They can instead run it inside of this thing, a non-stop high availability architecture, yeah. and very efficiently run that code in the network as part of the network. I did not. I, I knew that you were running VMware. I didn't know that it was a, a Linux space. Is that is that a core kernel or something? And then you guys have something on top, or did you uh, get that as a partnership from uh, a Linux vendor, whether it was a Red Hat, Novell, or so, yeah, somebody it's else? A partnership. It's a standard. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of the Linux versions out there. Sure. So yeah, we're, we believe Linux is the right OS. Um, in fact, for the entire architecture to be able to run on.